Okay, here we go into an overview of Jam. We're going to use a different pack this time. Here's the loop matrix, four channels, each of eight clips, and each with a channel mute button. And don't forget, for every module on the main play page, the matrix, stabs, channel effects, XY, cold cutter, available in big screen format from the bottom right. Let's go back to the main play page. And also good to remember your old friend in-app help for every function and screen available from the ninja head in the top right hand corner. Here's where you set the BPM with a slider or you can nudge it up and down with those arrows at the top. Double tap to reset that and you can also change the root note at the bottom. Also double tap to reset that. Now these operations will be affected by the global setting time stretch mode. We'll come to that later. These are the patches at the top. Scroll backwards and forwards, you've got up to 64. And you can save any state in a named patch by holding it. And then recall that just by tapping it. Back to one that we made earlier. Okay, on the right we've got the stab matrix, nine one shots. And then the bottom left we've got the channel effects, four rows of effects, each one for each channel. Distortion, filter, delay, reverb and sidechain. And then we've got the XY effects, the multi effects, with two cursors packed with fun. And these control XY sends, control whether a channel is affected by the XY. So you see here, just the beats channel has been turned on for the XY, so only that one's being affected. The XY effects are in fact the same effects as the ones on the left, but they're controlled in a different way. On the right, cold cut slot rack with the 16 slots, each of which do different cold cut operations, which you can configure later. The ones on the right are momentary action super fills. The ones on the left are more sort of buffer shuffle effects. And moving down to the bottom left, we're in record already, so we can make a decent audio recording for this video. That's the record button going around. And the shift button there, we use to access some extra functions. Usually you hold that down and then tap something else to get a slightly different function. So for instance, stabs can be looped by holding shift down and then playing stab Hold it down and press the stab again should stop it. And on the left of the stabs you've got the smart pitch bend slider for the stabs and the stabs effects button. Moving along the screen selectors at the bottom like tone and time. The tone page means distortion and filter and you select which channel you're dealing with from this pop-up menu, hold down and then slide up and down to select the channel you want. That's a common way of selecting things in Jam. Filter with its different types of filtered distortion with the different types of distortion on pop-up and a mixer where you can pan that channel change the volume and the tone is like a simple bass to treble EQ time page for delay and reverb these on off buttons as the icon suggests mirror the ones in the main play page pump is a side chain effect using generally channel one to isolate the kick drum so that it can be used to effectively gate the other channels. Typically when the kick drum is playing, it will turn off the other channels. Now the cold cutter is the most complex module, we'll come back to that. These are master effects, the air produces extra high frequencies and you've got the distortion. And then the sub bass synth which generates low tones, again triggered by the kick drum from the beats channel. And that's based on the root key. When follow is on, that's, uh, the sub bass follows whatever's the key shown next to the BPM. Clip screen, this is an important one. So if you want to inspect one clip, just touch it and that becomes in the focus clip whose property is shown in the clip screen and it has a line under its name in the loop matrix. You can change the pitch, volume, etc. Change the time stretch mode to FFT and various others. And then if I tap on the name, I can go to the sample browser where I can load samples from various sources. For instance, I can load them from another pack in Jam. Browse to the Alicia pack, the sound files folder. And now I've loaded in that file from the Alicia pack with basics. 
let's go back to the Gamelan patch. Keep it simple so you can hear what's going on. Okay, now recording mode, very important. Basically, there's two recording modes to understand. You get them from this mode page. Recording mode means recording out, that's mix down, and sampling mode is recording in for sampling. Mixer page, where you can, for each of the five channels, set the pan, volume, etc. And the MIDI page, where you can set what your MIDI input and output devices are, or sessions are. If you've got a MIDI device connected, it should come in there. And you can also do MIDI learn for any of the parameters in Jam, fairly straightforward. Last but not least, the settings page, which has quite of important settings, particularly time stretch, global time stretch mode is quite important. At audio buffer size, perhaps if you've got a slower device, you might need to um, change that to a higher value. And the Ableton link can be turned on there as well for wonderful synchronization with lots of other apps and Ableton Live. And just a reminder, hold the top left corner to get the humble file menu where you can close and save your work. Okay, I think that'll do as an overview for now. All the jam modules and functions we've looked at, we'll discuss in more detail in subsequent videos. Thanks for your attention. Enjoy jam.